Well, um, we're looking to have a place where we can go. We can take our our survivors out on the land. We can take our families out on the land. And we have a place down in Thessalon, mm -hmm. um, just a little bit north of the town of yeah. Thessalon, yes, yeah. that we would like to use. We have 250 acres out there. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're planning on going. Right. We got our aim set in that direction. So the goal is to build a healing yeah. lodge yeah. so that you can take in the children, the youth, the people yeah. who have been trafficked mm -hmm. and help to restore their spirits. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Thank you. Hey, Marley. Hi. Honey. Hey, honey. I work with the youth. Yep. Uh, presently, and uh, um, I do traditional healing with them. Right. Uh, Ceremonies and um, I work in child welfare, right. and it's been um, an amazing journey with them because um, they've uh, within over a year, like I've seen a, a huge difference with them. Mm -hmm. And when you look on that, uh, um, when you look at, on the medicine wheel, mm -hmm. that um, the Elders are supposed to be working with the youth, so I, it was hard like to have an impact on them, but um, mm -hmm. I've done um, an adoption, uh, and I adopted uh, five, five people, five youth so far. Wow. And, um, you know, this is, uh, this is very real, and, mm -hmm. um, you know, for them to be accepted. Yeah, building the trust that is... It is the key, isn't it? Yeah, it's the key because, uh, you know, when you're in foster care, mm -hmm. you don't get that, like, at home. Sure. So. Well, thank you, Marley. Thank you for the work that you do with our youth. Mm -hmm. Allison, let's talk about the things that you've been doing. I know you've been very busy building a repertoire of libraries, some, some teaching videos. Yes, uh, I w I'd like to continue and motivate, continue motivating people about the healing journey. Mm -hmm. uh, applying it to the missing and murdered women, human mm -hmm. trafficking, sexual violence, anything that pertains to healing, mm -hmm. that is where I will be. And I yeah. will be uh, taking the Nokomis Makwa healing staff to where she's being called for when dealing with um, healing initiatives and maybe rallies regarding mm -hmm. sexual violence, mm -hmm. human trafficking, missing and murdered women, mm -hmm. and continue supporting the grandmother's goals of uh, supporting uh, women that have been trafficked and supporting our goal of continuing having a safe house yes. here for the North Shore area mm -hmm. and continue working with the grandmothers. Thank you so much. Miigwech, Allison. Miigwech to all the grandmothers. I to tell you that we yeah. just became an organization. Oh my gosh, hey. that's right. <laughs> yes, we've got to share this. We became an organization. We we're the Kikadawik uh, Nukumasok Grandmothers Council. Awesome. And we now have a not-for-profit. That's amazing. And yeah. you have a Facebook page. I will link the Facebook page okay. so that other people can find you as well. Okay, good. And on behalf of, uh, of youth everywhere and, and just citizens across the province, thank you for taking some time to talk with me today.